Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look around Bent's Garden Centre. I don't actually need to buy anything today, I'm literally just here to look around. Now this is my first time visiting this garden centre. I've heard lots about it, so I thought I should just come check it out myself. The displays on the entrance were giving me life. Jeez, you guys, just look at how big it is. In fact, this garden centre has won Best Destination Garden Centre on six occasions. It is one of the most awarded garden centres in the UK. I decided to start off in the houseplant section and the selection was out of this world. Now, I thought this was just a regular Alocasia poly, but it wasn't. It's actually called an Alocasia pink dragon and shall $39.99, oof. These prices, well, you know what? The plant is pretty though. Also had a whole section dedicated to ferns as well. I don't have a single fern in my collection, but if you know a good plant that I should try, let me know in the comments below. Oof, this plant is a beauty. It's called a cordline new conga. They also have some really beautiful philodendrons. At this point in time, I was really grateful that I was so smart to not pick up a basket because you know me, half this would have been in that basket by now. I was completely caught off guard by this zebra plant. Just look at the white stripes, absolutely stunning. Mm, but let's see how much it is. $11.99? Well, actually, that's not that bad, you know. So big and bushy, but look at all the brown spots. It's probably going to be a diva. Okay, so here are the regular polys. And look, £6.99. That is not bad at all. Now, just look at how pretty these variegated umbrella trees are. They are so healthy. My one is clinging on for dear life. Now, these plants are my absolute favourite waste of money. I mean... Can anyone keep these things alive? Ugh, I can't. But just look at how beautiful they are. Guys, as you're watching, let me know which would be going into your baskets. I was so close to running back to go and get a basket to put this one in. It's just gorgeous. Monsteras, look, it's like an absolute forest. They are so beautiful. Right, let's see how much they are. £8.99. Whoop, I am going to get six. Imagine this, guys. I went to pick it up so that I could go find a basket to put it in and then was confronted by this reality. Yes, guys. £79.99. Bye, Felicia. Well, after that embarrassment, I decided to continue my journey and bumped into these bonsai trees. They had a super cool succulent section and loads of cute pots as well. Now don't come for me in the comments, but I'm gonna say this one time. I'm sorry, but crotons, I actually am here for them. I love the colors. I do not know why this plant gets so much hate, but just look at these guys, beautiful. How extra can you get a water feature in the middle of your display? Anyway, this section is full of mini baby plants. Absolutely stunning. Each of these ranged between five to ten pounds. It was absolutely spoilt for choice. I love the fact that in each section they had the appropriate size pots so you didn't have to go wandering around this maze, sorry I mean store, to find the right size pot. This garden centre normally attracts up to one million customers each year. That is mind-blowing. Now I can tell you this now, I've got absolutely no space for any more hanging plants. But just look at some of these, I was about to risk it all. I mean, just look at this, so beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the price, $29.99, oof. I mean, it's like I'm having to pay for these people's electric bill. But to be fair, the basket is so full and okay. 
put it down, put it down. Oh, my favorite section of any plant store. And considering where I am, this is probably the only part of the store I can actually generally afford. Hmm, and let me see, ooh, look at this calafia. So, so pretty. Okay, let's look at the price. Okay, what? So it was a hundred pounds and now it's 24.99. Go buy. They had some really pretty orchids as well, but for 20 pounds, uh, they were half the price in Ikea. So I had to step away from those. They had a whole array of artificial plants as well. I'm not mad at them. I'm like a quarter of the way through the shop. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Somehow I stumbled into a whole section of fire pits. They had me imagining my house in the future. Like, does anyone else do that kind of stuff? Guys, we go for a chat around the fire pit. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I don't think I've ever seen a barbecue this big, but all I know is in my dream house, I'm having one. As I continued my magical quest to find the outdoor plants, I came across a food hall. A food hall in a garden center. You guys, this is insanity. What in the Hogwarts is this? Look at it! Cha, they had a butcher's, a fishmonger's, you name it, they had it. Now I've been told that over Christmas this place turns into a magical wonderland. I mean, you can just imagine what would be on offer. The selection of worldwide beers and wines is absolutely insane. They've got a homeware department, a kids wear department. It was just all too much. It kind of set off my anxiety a bit, so I needed to take a little bit of a step back and a break. Now this meal here cost me around about eight pounds. You know, I could have got a sandwich and crisps and a drink from the station for around about four pounds, but you know, I'm gonna I'm let that slide. I ended up doing something that my anxiety really does not like me doing. And that was going to the, one of the restaurants and eating by myself. And yes, yes, I did say one of the restaurants. They have six. Who has a glass of Prosecco when they're plant shopping? I mean, I'm making this a thing. Well, you know, guys, I guess one glass of Prosecco is not going to hurt at all. Ooh, well, I cannot lie. <laughs> I don't think I've drunk properly in a while. And uh, I'm feeling... I'm getting a little bit lightheaded, you know. What a mess. I can barely speak. <laughs> I mean, I could come to a garden centre and find a way to have a splash. Right, so I think I've made it to the outside plant area. Ooh, the struggle to string a sentence together is real. Okay, guys, you have to see this. <laughs> this is insane. I have never, ever, ever been to a garden centre this big. And there's another outside section that's completely uncovered. Oh, I'm seriously regretting those three bottles. <laughs> I don't really think my camera is picking up the scale of just how large this place really is. But I'm going to try and do my best to take you around everywhere. <laughs> I can tell you now, I'm really tired. I tell you, three bottles of them Proseccos and I'm ready for a nap. There's one thing I really actually do need to buy, like need to buy, not want, uh, <laughs> are some seeds because as you know I'm already starting my seed sowing process for autumn and winter and I'm thinking about using some of my raised beds and growing carrots. So let me just have a look and see what they have for carrots. I don't think I've ever seen such a big selection in a store of carrots. Even this process was draining. <laughs> I finally settled on a couple of different varieties and then continued on the tour. They had aisles and aisles of gardening equipment. They even had spring bulbs. They had everything. They had these beautiful containers. They were literal pieces of artwork. I finally reached the halfway point, but there's just still so much to see. If you're an OG to the channel, you'll know how much I just love water features. 
So to see this array of different water features was absolutely magical. And as I went further and further down this aisle, they got more and more and more and more extra to the point where I was literally planning my dream house. By the time I got to the end of this aisle, I just felt so sorry for my partner. Now, okay, I might not actually have a partner right now, but my partner in the future will be taking me here and buying me my water feature. I came across some of these uh, planters. Some of them would actually be quite good in the cloud garden. Let's take a look. I always struggle trying to find planters for the cloud garden. They're normally always so basic and boring. So it was really nice to see something quite vibrant. There was an extensive array of colors, which I was pleased about. But on closer inspection, although they have handles, the handles just are not suitable for the cloud garden because I actually don't have railings. Now, as you guys know, I'm kind of an it is what it is kind of gardener, but to come to a garden center like this and see every plant looking absolutely immaculate is a testament to just how hard these guys must work to keep this place going. As you guys know, I'm not really a fan of hydrangeas, but even these guys managed to turn my head a little bit. There's something about seeing a sea of Rebecca that really puts a smile on your face. At times you completely forget that you're shopping because everything just looks like an exhibition. In fact, let me keep quiet for a little bit and just let you appreciate the beauty of some of these flowers. say ever since my balcony pond I've got a new love for grasses. I just about made it to the end of this side of the indoor section. Now I think it's time to try and head outside and see what they have out there. Now just looking at this footage you can actually see that I'm swaying. As I staggered my way out imagine my horror to just find how much more there was. This place never ends next to restaurant number six there's this beautiful outside space well it's beginning to rain and they've got this massive lake out here this is like an actual adventure oh gosh I didn't even see this they have a Jurassic Gulf cafe uh, I think it's probably best if you just take a look for yourself I don't know how I ended up in Jurassic Park. I just wanted some flowers. There was a really cool selection of aquatic plants as well. And it had me thinking, what am I going to do with the balcony pond next year? As you would expect by this point, they had a whole array of different trees and shrubs. Those dinosaurs were not tiny. No God, they were life size. From this vantage point, I was able to see just how much was out here. <sighs> I now completely understand how this is called a destination garden centre. It's me to be able to find a clearance section in the middle of Jurassic World. There was quite a lot here, but $19.99 for this hydrangea. Child, I just can't. I can't. I think that I worked out that my partner is going to be buying me probably around about three of these different greenhouses for my dream house. Oh snap, David Austin Roses, a whole aisle. This section is so bougie, I don't even think that I am like, I don't even feel comfortable walking down this aisle. <laughs> Now I'm going to complete the circuit and try and head back to the exit, but oh, oh wow, look at this. These are called angel wings. 
believe it or not there was even more footage than what you guys have seen but I may or may not have accidentally drunkenly pressed delete on some of that footage but I think you get the point the place is huge I think I'm going to be going back there when it's Christmas time and pff, Lord knows what's gonna happen when I start drinking that eggnog I tell you <laughs> But it wouldn't be a Cloud Garden UK garden centre video without me showing you some of my purchases. Now I did stay true to form and I didn't go too crazy because of those prices. But <laughs> I did get a couple of things. So as you saw I got a couple of packets of seeds, they were carrots and I also picked up one of these. satin pothos. Now it's grown quite a bit since I bought it but I've got to say I'm not having the best luck with it and it's probably because it is in such a low light area of my bedroom but you know she's doing her own thing I think what I'm going to start to do is maybe rotating them and seeing if that's going to help but um, I absolutely love it. Now the second plant that I got is probably one of the most beautiful plants that I have in my collection. She's absolutely stunning. Here we go. Oh. It's called an Angel Wings and I've named her Angelica. She's absolutely beautiful. I can't really, I don't even think the camera's doing her any justice. Her leaves feel like a lamb's ear, it's so soft, the texture is so lovely and these plants can get pretty big. Now it's actually considered a succulent, so this is my first succulent and trust me to not have your standard basic succulent as a beginner. I am learning with this plant, hopefully when I feel a little bit more confident with the care tips I will be able to share with you what I found, but at the moment it's still a work in progress. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I know it was a long one, but thank you very much. And also, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody for getting me to 1K. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.